Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Stretch the Sketch. And I am using my Kit Conspiracy kit from week three for this layout. So it's a little bit of a bonus video for you if you are just watching Kit Conspiracy. Um, and this is the layout or the sketch that we're using. It is from Bella Boulevard. And I'm going to stretch it to be a page and a half. So a 12 by 12 plus a 6 by 12. And the first thing I did was I went to my Silhouette uh, software and I created a cut file to make these tabbed file folders. And if you are interested in that cut file, I am perfectly happy to send it to you. All you need to do is drop me an email. My email is down below at the very bottom of my description box. So just send me a, an email and tell me that you want the Bella Boulevard um cut file or cut file for the Bella Boulevard sketch from stretch the sketch. And so that was the first thing I did. And I'm just using all of the papers and materials from my kit conspiracy kit. Um, and then I have these three dies. You see them to the bottom left hand corner there. I am, those are from Elizabeth craft designs. They are actually three different die sets. They come with multiple other things in each die set, but I basically just wanted these, this one that looks like a, a piece of paper. And then the other two look like they are, um, tabbed dividers for like a planner or something like that. And so the first one I am cutting into this, I'm cutting the ledger paper that came in the kit, uh, from good day, sunshine that is a simple stories, uh, really old kit or really old collection that I am using from kit conspiracy. If you don't know what kit conspiracy is, uh, you can go and check that out on my channel. There is a video about that. It is a series I'm doing with MK over on her channel, some assemblage required. So basically, uh, I am cutting the pink and the red papers because that is all I had left of the solids that were large enough once I cut those uh, file folder, folder tops. I don't know why that is so hard for me to say. Um, and then, oh, I did have a blue piece as well, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't have enough um, of the red or pink to make the six by 12. So that's what I used the blue for. And then I used the red and the pink to make the file folder or file dividers. And then the ledger paper was the obvious choice to be the paper looking, um, one that's in the front. So I have these three photos and I have been working on documenting our end of the year trip to a water park nearby for our homeschool group. And so these are some of uh, my friends, some of the parents. Um, and we usually would just hang out uh, and chat while the kids were off doing their thing. Um, and then in the smallest photo, that is actually one of my, my really good friends. And my son is just giving her a hug. And so I wanted to include that one as well. So I am inking everything in black soot distress ink. As I have been through this whole um, series pretty much it seems like. I think I start off saying that on most of these uh, videos these days. But um, I am enjoying how it looks. So it you know, it doesn't bother me at all. I think it, it works really well too, especially when you have a lot of bright colors and this collection does, does have a lot of bright colors, even though it ha also has kind of a, um, it's not, I, it, I don't want to say it's a distressed vibe, but because it's mixing the creams and the, and the whites, it kind of feels more vintagey for some reason. I don't know. I could be making that up. So originally I thought I was going to put these in green, pink, blue, and red order, uh, as you see them there, because I know I don't want the green and the red next to each other because that would kind of make it feel more Christmassy. And, um, I don't know. I didn't want the pink and the red too close together either because then they feel like they're too close to the same color. But uh, because of the placement of the tab on the red one, I am going to switch it so the green is at the bottom. Um, I'm going to basically do the exact reverse. I'm going to do the reverse order of what it currently looks like because of that. Um, I know I want my photos off to the right hand side, but I want the tab to show on the bottom one. And so I had to switch the green with the red, which meant the pink and the blue also had to switch. 
<laughs> so funny things I think of when I'm scrapbooking. I don't know. I don't know if you guys think of those things too, but maybe, maybe it's just me thinking that green and red would make me feel like it was Christmassy. Um, so you can let me know down below if these are crazy things you think of when you're putting your pages together as well. So then uh, I went back to, I have a whole bin of like simple story stuff. And I thought, I wonder if I have any more embellishments that I hadn't pulled out because we only included the sticker sheets in our kits. Um, and then I went and looked and I sure enough had the pockets for this collection. I don't have anything other than the pockets and then the sticker sheets that uh, we included. But um, there are a lot of cut apart sheets in what we had. So I am able to cut apart a lot of things to make embellishments. But um, I thought the pockets would work really well on here because we kind of have this office thing going on or, I don't know, school thing or whatever. We've got like lots of file folders and such. So I thought those pockets work well as, and we'll just use them up, you know. That's the whole idea of this series um, for Kit Conspiracy was to get things used up and to see how I use my kit differently than MK because hers is exactly the same. So actually I'm curious to see if she'll use hers for stretch the sketch. So uh, I don't know if she's planning to or not. So I went ahead and put my little papers into my little pockets there. I'm going to adhere those down. I do know I want that smaller photo to be on the 6 by 12 sheet, but I know I want some of that, <clears throat> pardon me, the floral pattern to be brought over there as well because it's looking very cardstock like and I don't I don't mean that as a bad thing but I'm just not somebody who uses a ton of cardstock and these this isn't actually cardstock it's like an ombre paper from this particular collection if you look at the blue sheet it does start out like darker blue on one area and then it gets a little lighter but um I'm not used to the solid papers because I don't use them very often so I knew I wanted to bring in that pattern over to the smaller sheet. And so I found one of those little postage stamp looking um, pieces and was able to cut it and bring it over to that area. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, little clips that I'm working with right there are from Freckled Fawn, I believe. And um, I'm not sure where the green arrow came from. That one I have no clue, but the other two are from, I believe, Freckled Fawn. And I, they've been in my stash for so long, I couldn't even tell you if they make them anymore. So then I found another one of these little postage stamp looking deals in the wood veneer looking, the dark wood veneer, and it has the floral pattern also. So I layered those two up and put them with the clip, the paper clip up at the top on the red on the right uh, left hand side. And then I had this piece um, that I punched that looks like a ticket and I'm going to, st I stuck that over on the left hand page as well. Just trying to bring in more layers and little, uh, details. So then I went to my sticker sheet and I thought I will use uh, hello summer for my title. And then I end up changing that. I actually do like the way it looks on camera, but, um, I'm not sure I'm not sure why I decided not to use the hello actually to be honest with you. Um I think it looks better on camera than it did in real life maybe. But <laughs> I end up removing the hello. I did find all these little they look like little washi tape strips so I'm using those on the top of the tabs as though they are kind of like labels. And then I'm going to add some of these little tiny word stickers on top of them. So I decide to change my title so it will read Even Moms Need Summer. I don't know if that's a really great sentence, but, you know, it works. So uh, it also used up some of those little yellow tile stickers. And so then it read Hello, Even Moms Need Summer. And so I think maybe that's why I, let, I removed the hello. I'm not sure. But the hello is not going to end up on this label or on this uh, layout. That's, that's the gist of what I'm trying to say here. I'm taking the long route to say that. And then, uh, I knew I also wanted to add, um, 
a little bit more of the floral over to the left hand page again and I found this little floral sticker that I put down by the heart I think that kind of softens it up and makes it look really cute and there there are the little tiny word stickers uh, you see at the top of the tabs on the left hand page I am going to add a few more to the right hand side and I like the way that those look it looks like there's labels actually on these file folders and it worked out great because they're, the pink one is hidden um, and I basically didn't have a whole lot more of the um, pieces of washi to work with there. I think there's like a little tiny, tiny narrow one, but um, nothing that would fit in it. So it actually worked out really well. I used my tiny attacher to adhere or to affix the um, tab top to each of the pocket areas there or the label to the pocket, just to give added texture. I like the way that it looks and um, makes it feel more, I don't know, office-y. I know that's not a word, but you know, you get, you get what I'm trying to say. I am gonna finish it off with some sequins. And while I do that, I'll remind you that there are a bunch of people playing along with Stretch the Sketch. I'm curious to see how they are stretching this or shrinking it. The whole idea is it cannot be a 12 by 12 whatever you end up with. Um, we start with a 12 by 12 sketch and you cannot make a 12 by 12. So it'll be fun to see what everyone else did. I um, This is one of my favorite sketches that we had planned. So I was really looking forward to this one and I really enjoy the way that it came out. Um, so go and check out everyone else who's playing along and uh, don't forget to get leave them a little bit of love. So we do this the third Sunday of every month and we've been doing it this we're coming up next month will be our fourth year, um, our fourth anniversary. So we are doing something a little bit special for that and you'll have to come back and check out what we are doing. Uh, and if you have missed any of this series, you can find a playlist over on my channel for it if you are interested in that. So thank you for watching. If you have questions or comments, you can leave those down below. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. And um, if you don't mind hitting the thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe as well. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. And I will um, be back with more Kit Conspiracy uh, throughout the week. Thanks so much for watching. See you then. Bye-bye.